Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of my Pokemon Randomizer playthrough. In our last episode, we got a little wild, I'll say so myself, and we caught three new Pokemon. So let's just run through the team here real quick. We've got Biscuit. Biscuit, also known as Vulpix. He's pretty alright right now, but I have a lot of potential for him. Then we've got Dragon Worm. Also kind of garbage right now, but once again, got a lot of potential for him. He also takes 40 million years to level up. Next up, the tank of the group, Squirtle, just wrecking it. Easily the best po Pokemon on our team right now. He is just a powerhouse. He is the Mitochondria, which is the powerhouse of the Pokemon team. Okay, I should have named him that. That would have been a genius idea if I knew that this was all going to happen. Okay, next up, we've got Totino, named after my favorite Za. And he is actually pretty dope already, but he is a little weak. So... We're gonna get him up to speed here real quick. Then we've got Mouse Rat coming at you live. Also pretty dope. Uh, Nose Ember and Will-O-Wisp, which is a pretty dope. Metronome is kind of garbage though, because who knows what could happen there. And finally, we've got All-Star. That's right, your favorite meme come to life in star form. Also pretty dope. Excited to work with All-Star. So as of right now, this is our team, but because of this randomizer, anything could happen. And any of these Pokemon could evolve into something else that's complete garbage. Or we could find something that's way better, like that Zapdos I've been talking about every single episode. One day we'll find a Zapdos, and I will love it to death. So, before we go any farther, um, I did pick up a rare candy um, last episode, and I wanted to use it. And I think I'm going to use it on Totino only because I know he's the farthest level. He's the lowest level and he has like no experience right now versus like this gets pretty close to getting to level 10. So. Nice. I'm going to really not. I'm going to really try for this episode not to see Squirtle or not to use Squirtle. Not to see Squirtle. Not to use Squirtle because he is a little overpowered right now. And I need some of these other Pokemon to step it up. So, let's first just see what's in this grass, even though I don't know why, because... Ooh, I already got one of those biscuits. Okay. Um, let's heal. Um, I might try to get more Pokeballs real quick here, depending on if I have any cash. Um, which is probably... I mean, I fought a lot of people in Mount Moon, but I don't think I fought enough to make up for all the money I spent on Pokeballs. And then we'll go fight, uh, Brad Jr., which is my rival. And we'll see if we can beat him. I have six Pokemon, and I think he'll have maybe three. So I think we're in pretty good hands. I'm just going to buy, like, five. Because I know Great Balls have got to be coming up here soon. I think I don't think they're in uh, the third city. I'm blanking on the name right now. But I think they're in the fourth one. So I'm not too far away. So let's go fight Brad Jr. When last time I fought him, I can't remember what he had. I think maybe a Gloom? Maybe a Farfetch? It was something weird like that. But he'll have at least three Pokemon. I caught a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon, says the dude who's gonna use three of them, or maybe four. Four Pokemon, and I have six, so it looks like I'm doing a little bit better. Doesn't it, Brad Jr.? A Dugong! Level 17, okay. You are doing a slightly bit better than I am. Um, Octagazooka? I don't even know what that means. Is that French? Okay, that was a little... A little strong for my taste. Um... I know I literally just said I wasn't gonna use this powerhouse, but I literally have nothing else that could take down Dugong. Flame Wheel! It blows my mind what Pokemon will learn in a randomizer. This thing is thick. That was a little rough to start off. Crobat evol or is leveled up as per usual. Murkrow, see I think we can knock this guy out with maybe... Let's give Mouse Rat a try. I know that it's going to be way stronger than me. But maybe we can uh, knock it out. That doesn't look good. Ah, Guys, the thing is I don't want to just sit around and train because that's really boring and it takes a lot longer on this randomizer because you don't just run into weak ratatas and pidgeys you actually run into strong things okay hopefully ice punch can maybe kill it 
Ah, oh, come on. Freeze it at least. Oh, it's already burned. It can't be frozen too. All-Star, you are an all-star. I may have named you after a meme, but you are no meme, sir. When'd you get that, Brad? Probably in that cave where we saw all the other Pokemon that were amazing. Actually, I think I ran into an Ivysaur, so... Probably where you got it, Brad. Nice. At least get it weak enough, All-Star, and then I can switch out. Just don't die either. Man. We're not getting anywhere, Ivysaur, with your stupid detecting. Just let me hit you. You can't use that three times in a row! Yeah, it better have failed. You can't use it. Of course! I wonder if Dragonworm can do anything. Probably not, because he gets beat up by everything. Come on, Dragonworm. Don't let me down this time. The sunlight is strong! This is the first time it's ever happened, so you know it's going to be a good battle. Come on, Dragonworm. Just knock that thing out of the park. Oh, come on. Shoot, we'll try Dragon Worm. I don't think Dragon Worm's gonna last three seconds in this fight. Jump kick. Yeah, what I say. Dragon Worm is not gonna last 36 seconds. Okay, let's um Oof, yucky. Okay, let's uh let's get this full restore, I guess, on I don't know if Squirtle even needs it. He might be able just to get in there and rough him up and peace out. Yeah, let's just, uh, switch out with Squirtle. Yeah, hopefully he doesn't kill me. I don't think he will. Well, worst case scenario, I got that full restore, so... What do I want to use now? It's getting kind of dicey here. And if I lose Squirtle, I'm definitely going to lose the fight. So, we're just going to play it safe. Not saying that I don't trust my other Pokemon, but they're all too weak. And I definitely thought this guy was going to be weaker when I walked into this fight. Ugh, oh, that sucks. What did I use last time to just, like, wreck this low bro? I thought it was Body Slam, but that didn't, like, nothing left this time. I'm, like, almost 10 levels higher than this thing. Nice. Okay. Brad Jr. is down. That was not as good as I wanted it to be. I should probably go heal. Um, yeah, I should probably go heal because of how beat up everyone is, and someone's poisoned. And I think we're gonna really spend this episode just kind of beefing up everyone, because everyone is pretty weak as far as compared to Brad Jr.'s Pokemon, even though I have way more Pokemon. Let's just uh, keep running here, and we'll beat up all these guys. We'll try not to use Squirtle, and luckily we're close to a Poke Center, so if everyone starts getting beat up, we'll just run back real quick. All right, Biscuit, you can handle this guy. Come on, Biscuit, just kick this guy in the skull. Ooh, Alexam. This one might be a little bit tougher to kick in the skull, but um, I don't doubt you. We're just gonna keep using uh, Overheat, even though it does lower my special attack. Hmm, it's not looking too hot, no pun intended. Uh, we'll switch out. Um, we'll move over to... We'll switch out to All-Star. Ooh, All-Star, you're close. You are close to getting up. Wait, is, uh, why do you know Muddy Water? That's a weird attack. Some of these attacks, I swear, I didn't even know were attacks until this randomizer began. Um, yeah, Muddy Water. It's like a weaker Surf? I don't know. I don't understand it. It's also dumb to use against my... Oh, of course I miss. Okay, switch out again. Ha, nerd. Nice, Dragon Worm. I'm so proud of you recently. Biscuit, also very proud. All-Star, also very proud. Everyone's so proud of you this time. Mighty Enna, can you fight him? Your fake tears don't work here. Nice, Dragon Worm. You're just really getting better all of a sudden. It's like you had a weak moment, and now you're just coming back full speed ahead. Oh, you've got this. You can knock this thing out. Ooh, maybe I spoke too soon. Yeah, I might have spoke a little too soon with you being able to knock this thing out. 
Okay, we'll switch out because I want you to get some XP. -er. Uh, mouse rats probably can't do squat. Uh, All star will probably get killed. The nice thing is I am able to risk these uh, attacks because I know that in the end Squirtle can dominate all if need be. If you can land a move like you just did, we'll be fine. But if not, you're gonna be gone. Ah, toasted. <sighs> well, it was a nice try. Ooh, now though, would be a good time for Mouse Rat to swing in and get this final attack and get some uh, experience. Head back, heal, and we'll fight the next guy. Dragon Worm fainted. Not really surprised. I'm second, now it's serious. Okay, we'll see. Salamance, that is pretty serious. Okay. That was a waste of time walking to the Poké Center. Don't know how you punch, All-Star, but I'm glad you can. And he froze him. And he already defrosted. And he used Dragon Breath. Wow, that was a quick turn of events. Nice, All-Star. Metronome's a dumb attack. I don't know why I used it, but I want to see... Like I said, literally the dumbest attack in this stupid game. Why did I do that? Okay. Um, Dragon Worm. Finish this job. <sighs> Just get the stupid pig out of the way. Bulk up. Come on, Dragon Worm. Learn something that's actually good for once. Guess where I'm going. <sighs> this whole episode's gonna be taking place on this stupid bridge. Not use a metronome, we learned that the hard way. Hey, apparently is also not the way to do this. Why did I use Yeet. That's gonna hurt. Okay. Uh Dragon Worm? You wanna try to do this? Nice mouse rat. Get those levels. Uh, I think I'm just gonna keep going because I don't wanna run all the way back. Really, Biscuit and Mouse Rat are the only ones that are pretty beat up, so we'll be fine. Boss something. Boss Leo. Larvitar. That's pretty solid. I'm not gonna lie. Don't mind if I beat it up, though. Not sure what Spiderweb does. Can't escape. Wasn't planning to. Run, 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 run. All right, I think we have one more. Two more, I think, technically. Chef Kimberly, let's go. Got a Slay King, V nice. That's actually a pretty baller Pokemon. Oh, come on, Biscuit, you've got this. This thing is weak so far, and I spoke a little too soon. This thing is gonna smoke me. Dragon Worm. I'm so proud of you recently. You've just been so great. Biscuit, you too. I didn't forget about you. Rap? Why does Biscuit want to learn rap? And I don't... A long body or vines are used to wrap the foe. Well, Biscuit doesn't have either of those, so I don't know why he's trying to learn that. Okay, and I know this last guy is going to want to fight too, but I think we're just going to go for it. Um, everyone else is good except for Biscuit and Dragon Worm. Congratulations, I'm actually Team Rocket this whole time. Gent Florentino. Nice name. Okay. Man, these stinking rocket grunts always have gyroses. Wish a uh, mouse rat knew some electric attacks, but does not at the current time. Dang. We might have to whip out the old Squirtle to to do this. Uh, Dragon Arm's gonna be toast. Totino's toast. Mouse rat. Uh, yeah, because all it knows is metronome and those two fire attacks, pretty much. Um... I know I said I wasn't going to do it, guys, but... There's no point. Everything else is just going to get smoked. I might as well... 
And I'll switch back if it's something weak, but we'll see. Seedra. Once again, if Mouse Rat knew any better attacks, I'm just gonna knock this stupid thing out. I don't want to deal with this. Yeehoo! Who wouldn't have thought that Squirtle would be able to take care of that for me? I wish I had an experience share so Totino could level up a little bit. Yeah, 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 I know! You want me to be on Team Rocket? I don't want to be with you guys, though. Okay, let's heal, let's check out some grass, fight a couple more people. This sure has been a filler episode, I'll tell you that much. Been pretty much just me fighting my way through the one bridge. This guy's probably gonna want to fight. Go figure! Chef Pie! Yes! It's the greatest chef name ever. Maybe it would be better for Baker Pie, but Chef Pie's pretty good too. Nice, see a Chef Pie. Great name, once again. 10 out of 10 name. Sketch? What is that? Move last used by the foe, then disappears. Forever? I don't, what? Whatever, I... That's... Isn't that pretty much just Mimic? But you can only use it once? Alright, let's just fight a couple more dudes here real quick. Come on, Mouse Rat, you got this. Just one more ember, 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 more ember. Okay, so, uh, legit no joke. I did beat that guy, but, uh, legit no joke. Uh, my controller died that I'm using, or something happened, and I literally just spent about 30 minutes, uh, figuring out what went wrong. So, I'm um, sorry for not showing that I beat that guy, but I totally did. <laughs> Yeah, and it, sh it, it was weird. It shut off all my recording stuff, and I was kind of freaking out because I thought for sure it would have just erased the last hour of game footage I've been playing. So, um... That was fun. Not something I recommend doing. Okay, so we'll just do uh, maybe a couple more fights here, and we'll call it good. Here's the problem with catching s four Pokemon in one episode. It's really hard to um, level them all up without the episode being a complete drag. But I guess this is like part of the game. I'm not like just fighting in the grass. I'm actually like battling. So, I mean, this would have been part of the episode regardless. It'll be nice to have some money to buy more Pokeballs once I get through all these guys. Nice, Dragon Worm. Now watch this thing use like something that's gonna kill me. Like I said, that could have been very bad. Because that is a one-hit KO every time if it hits. Why does Sandshrew no Horn Drill? Alright, next. Did this one trainer not get randomized? Because I feel like every other Pokemon has been extremely strong and then... Or random, and this one's actually one that this guy might have. I'm really curious to see what happens when Totino decides to evolve into a different Pokemon. <laughs> But we'll see when that happens. Servant Pie, that's the second person we've met that's named Pie. Very, very um, uncommon name, but you should go talk to the other guy, Servant Pie, because I think your uncle Chef Pie is over uh, just a few blocks away. Squirtle is the only one I really need, and he is doing fine. Uh, a third person named Pie! That is bonkers. Nice, Totino. Coming in clutch. Okay. If this guy's name is Pi2, I'm gonna flip out. Chef Veronica! We've definitely run into... Well, was it Chef? I think it might have been Tamer Veronica. Or Scar... No, I'm thinking Scarlet. Never mind. Squirtle is such a tank. I know I say this every single episode, but... Nothing... This thing is being beat up, and it still has more than half its health. Also, Squirtle, always good work, as always. I should probably have ended this episode, but A, we've already fought a ton of people. We might as well just finish all these other dudes up here. And second of all, I really want to see if Totino will evolve at level 16 or not. Yeah, and like I said, I have turned on randomized evolutions. I don't know if that's going to actually work, though. Because I also remember not turning on random items, and that apparently, um, is doing that, so that's not good. <gasps> Totino. No, we don't want to learn focus energy. When's our cool attacks gonna come in? <gasps> Totino's evolving! But will evolve into its actual stage or something else? Oh no. 
Dude! I will take it!